Welcome back to Cooking with Caitlin. You are in luck. Tonight we have a very special episode. We are at our annual holiday potluck. And I don't know about you, but I have a go-to dish when I go to potlucks, and it is my big hit taco dip. My friend here, Jasmine, is hey. hosting, and she so graciously also offered to help me prepare my dish. So let's get started. For this, you'll need 12 ounces of cream cheese, depending on how much you're making. We're gonna double the recipe, but standard 12 ounces. You then need a standard um, 12 to 15 ounce can of your favorite chili. This is um, one of my personal favorites. Then I like to use two different kinds of cheddar, um, mild and sharp, because it gives it a little kick and a little savory all at the same time. And then, last but not least, We'll have a pie tin or something that can go in the oven. I'm using a nine inch container, pie tin, and a spatula to spread it all out. So nobody said you needed a lot of ingredients to have a really big flavorful dish. When we were laughing, it was fun. All right, so Jasmine, our first step is we're gonna take this here cream cheese and we are going to take this here spatula and we're gonna start to spread it down. Awesome, this is whipped. Dude, yeah, what yeah. Are you it's making. Oh, big hit taco dip. How long does it take? Um, it'll be ready in like less than 10. Alright, I'll be back in 7. Yeah, get your chips ready. Set the clock. <laughs> <laughs> did you set the clock? I didn't know I did. Yeah. Okay, okay. so go for it. Um, it's whipped because um, there's a lot more air in there, so it's going to spread down more evenly, and the flavors are going to combine better. We want to cover the whole... Oh, you're very good at that. <laughs> You'll figure. So we want to cover the whole, before, right? I, this ain't my first rodeo, the whole bottom of the tin. And you want to have a good cushion of a layer here of cream cheese. Yeah, here, yeah, go in there. Thank you, darling. Scoop it around. All right. Really make use of that spatula. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your upcoming show. Oh, well, thank you for asking. It's called uh, Date Night with Jasmine. It's going to be a lot of fun and casual, just like tonight, a little party atmosphere. We're going to be drinking, mm -hmm. having cocktails, and we're talking about dating relationships in New York City. Nice. Yeah, so very excited about that. That's a nice elevator pitch. Yeah. Just give me some nitty gritty. Like, who's dishing? Like, what, what are we talking about? Specifics. Well, we're going to talk about, um, we're gonna be, you know, we're going to have some girls, we're going to have some guys. We're uh -huh. talking about, um, you know, all the trials and tribulations, you know, okay. some, some success stories and maybe not, not so successful moments. I we're can help about, you out like, with those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to come on my show then. <laughs> and, um, <A> date. <laughs> she just say it's a date. <laughs> 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 okay. But um, I'm really cheesy. Talk about like online dating. Okay. That's a big thing these days. I've done quite a few and, of that. Oh, you have. I have. Yeah. We've smeared our cream cheese, all right? And it should look something a little bit like this. Like, it should look like the top of a cake, but there's no cake underneath. So you get this nice, flat, even layer. Being chilly just because of how it all congloms together when it bubbles up. But if you are a veg, go to town and have your beans in your chili or a meatless chili or a turkey chili. Don't matter what kind of chili. And if it's not out of a can, and if you were lucky enough to like have a heads up and make your chili yourself, all the better. We're probably gonna have an episode eventually about chili, because I do have a recipe about that. Oh. Ew. Use our friendly spatula again. And I just like to plop it all in the middle first and then spread. And it's you want it to be a layer. You don't want to stir, we're layering, okay? And you're like, oh my gosh, but how do you not stir it? Funny thing, now that we've packed down our cream cheese, it's 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 not moving. That that stitch oh, is staying put. That, so that's the trick there, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. And we pat it down. Okay. And now, um, if you could grab that other chili. Absolutely. Let me get this open. Because you see how like we have a layer. You don't want to spread it spread it too thin. Okay. You want to try and keep it even, which is why we got such a deep dish pan Can going I just on. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give it a little Here shake. I'll start it. Alrighty. Yeah. And you see, you want to make sure you got a nice, thick consistency to your chili. Otherwise, it'll get like a runny mess. So you need to make sure that if you are making your own chili, you've let it reduce enough. Okay. So here That's we are. Good. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is a super duper easy, in a hurry recipe that it's just a lot of fun. 
I mean, who doesn't like tacos? Really? Um, and seriously, I just came from work today and stopped at my local bodega, picked this up, and totally easy, easy. No muss, no fuss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love tacos, so I'm so one, but two but different kinds of sugar. And two different kinds. Okay, we got mild and sharp. Mm -hmm. All right, exactly because the dimensions. Is yeah. there like a, a science to this? No. They just go then now just, to, now just, just go follow, to town. I'll just follow you. Then yeah, here we go. exactly. Right. And right. now just go to town. Mm -hmm. You just want a really fun layer of cheese. Like it's, for some people, that might be it. I like to I, be yeah. a little bit no, more generous. Everybody loves a little, everybody loves to get extra, extra cheese. Yeah, especially with a taco dip, a nice, when you dip your, your corn chip in this later, mm -hmm. your tortilla chip, and you get a nice like string of cheese from it, that, is. that does something for me. <laughs> That's actually the best part about it, actually. I'm, this, and I'm kind of loading up a little bit more of the sharp because that's my preference. Mm -hmm. But if you like more of the mild, or if you want to go crazy and do like pepper jack, oh, a no, white I, cheddar, an aged cheddar, okay. or gorgonzola, mm -hmm. something really like snazzy. That works too. Really nice, fun little side dish for this. Like, um, in addition, like next to it, it's like have a nice like cold dish of sour cream. So then you could do a dip sort of, of this and, get off, yeah. and put a little dollop of that on top. Hey, look at this, I'm like the Super Bowl for this, sure. I've brought this to many totally a Super, Bowl Super Bowl party. It's uh, ready to be thrown in the oven. 10 minutes, 350 degrees. Or just keep an eye on it and the chili is gonna start to bubble up through the cheese. So if you're going visually on if it's done, that's your cue. All right, so let's put this in the right. oven. All right. All right. Very excited. Woo! All right, so let's put this in the middle. And here we go. And final product. You know it's done when you've got some bubbles action going on and the chili starts to work its way up through the layer of cheese, as you see. Oh, it looks um, delicious. Right? Mm -hmm. Is it done yet? Yes, it's done. Yes, yes. Let's, let's, try. Let's, uh, let's all dig in. All right. All right, and just, you know, get in there. Yum ow. Mm. And then really scoop in. Okay. Try and get some cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, we might have to blow in a little bit. This is one of our really good. This is one of our messier tasting shots. I want more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think um, crowd tested. So right? speechless. <laughs> <laughs> so, big hit taco dip, as proven by the troops here, is living up to its name. Thank you once again for watching Cooking with Caitlin, and be sure to come back next time. And don't forget your empty stomach. <laughs>